Well, who wouldn't be excited to work with David E. Kelly? I mean, I've been hearing his name since I started out in this business. It's interesting to be working with my brother-in-law. Kind of like a little secret, like, hee hee hee, we're related. <laughs> <laughs> I've been a fan of his growing up my entire life. Picket Fences and Ally McBeal. Also, I mean, come on, Big Little Lies, yo. <laughs> I read the book called The Highway by C.J. Box. It's cliche to say that I couldn't put it down, but really I couldn't put it down. What drew me in first was the plot the tension, and then what resonated after was the layering of the characters. We gotta try to figure out how to get on the same page. Oh, Jenny and I are on, on the same page. <laughs> yeah. This show's really special. I'll tell you why, well, David E. Kelly is known to write such strong, bold characters, and especially strong, bold women characters. So you took that to mean it should be you, because that's the kind of swell friend you are. He listens to women and writes them better than maybe anybody on television who isn't a woman. <laughs> There's never one character that's written less than the other. For actors, that's the most important, exciting part, is to have a real character, to really try to discover. You're so beautiful. <laughs> What's your name? It's been a really beautiful process, seeing how this character has really grown into a dynamic representation for queer people on TV. It's so good. He's so good. The fundamental question that's going to be asked in this series, and we want our audience asking it, is what's going to happen next? We've had the occasional young female vanish around here. The thriller aspects of it and the character aspects of it are so fully realized, it'll take your breath away and you'll want to see what happens next.